well in the future i'm going to be giving y'all tips and tricks of things to do with the camper uh things that need to be maintenance uh regularly once a month some things that need to be done annually and uh things that need to be done as they need to be done such as propane Okay, this is winter time so you know we gotta keep up with the propane we do have an extra cylinder for uh for each and everything we got from the camper to the barbecue pit so uh right now it's time to go get these two filled up because we're down to one and uh we still got a lot of winter left so let's get her now nah, it just so happens to be that uh just right down the street from where we're uh, camping at right now there happens to be a tractor supply now tractor supply can fill those uh your your bigger tanks the ones for your camper and stuff because uh, those actually have to be filled you can't just you know trade it in for a full one uh, like you can with the small barbecue ones so you have to go somewhere where they actually fill the tanks so uh yeah we go we go either to tractor supply or you can go down to one of the truck stops like a flying j or ta or somebody like that and usually they have a, a place where you can get those uh propane tanks filled up for your camper so we're gonna ride on over here and get her done there is several things you need to know about uh let's see let's start with uh transporting now when you transport propane tanks they need to be in the upright position and stabilized by a bar or something to keep them from falling over when you when you're going down the road and stuff uh that's required because of the pressure in those tanks and everything so you got to make sure and uh now coming down here to uh tractor supply uh they've got a propane tank out in their parking lot see tractor supply is clear over there and then their propane tank out here and this is a filling station this is where they fill it up they put it on a scale and they fill it up to the right weight and then once they get it full then they charge you by the pound that they put in there so right here is 309 a gallon Back to the house we go. Be there in just a minute, I'll show y'all how to put one of these things on. All right, well now we're back here at the camper. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this, uh, this propane cover right here. We're gonna pull it off. All right, now I got the cover over here and I got my full tank we're gonna put in here. Now this camper here, it has two propane tanks a lot of them do so what we're going to do is we're going to put that tank back in here we're going to get her hooked up that off for a second because uh it takes two hands to pick up one of these things when they're heavy when they when they're full those suckers are heavy all right first thing you want to do you want to get this this is what holds your tanks on when you're going down the road so you have to pick this up where it hooks on to the inside of the holes. Insides of the holes, sometimes you have to give them a little bit of pressure, shake them around a little bit, get them to where they line up in those little channels, and you bring this down on top of it like that roll this down on top of it now that holds your tanks in there while you're going down the road even though you have that cover on them it don't matter then come over here you notice it's got one of those thingies on it just to cover it up when you're not using it bring this around hook that in there just like hooking up a water hose. Get around here to where it's a little easier. You just screw that on there like that. Now see, I'm gonna leave this one closed because right now 
this one is open open all the way and right here you got this little switch over now when this one gets empty over here then i'll take this switch i'll put it over to this side and then i'll open this one up but right now we got propane in that one so that is full hookup right there we're stationed down it's set over to the tank that's already been being used and we got this spare over here so as soon as that one goes empty all we're going to do is switch it over simple as that and then we put this little box back on there see it just it just slides down just like that ma'am she's good to go then we're going to stick our spare tank and the little cargo trailer over there and uh she'll be ready to go for the next time one decides to poop out on us so there you go 101